Yeah. Yes. Hello YouTube, it's Halo Reach, and we're doing an instructional video on how to take an Xbox 360 console apart. Yeah, today you'll be needing a a screwdriver set. It does not have to be necessarily a set, but you need a Torque 10-bit. It's called Torque, and you need a Torque 8, I believe. And that's pretty much what you're going to need to take this Xbox 360 apart. Okay. Now for... Okay. Hey YouTube, it's Halo Reach again, and this time we are actually taking the console apart. Okay, we start off. You will be removing the main face plate. Face plate. You just want to set all your stuff here close, and then you then you want to remove the top piece. There's little clips in this top piece, as you can see. There's little hold that. Little pain to get off. Yeah, and you want a like a little tiny. Thing that you can just come through here, and if you come in these little holes, some of them have pins in them, some of them don't. Really, really just pull it off, and it, that one was actually easy to have this console work. The bottom one's the easiest one to pop. You just pretty much pull it, and this, this one is. You just pretty much pull the bottom. If you got a new life box, it'd be harder to do because you have to pop the pins. But this and one is quite easy. This part gets really noisy at times. You will have to see these. Okay, there's four pins on the Xbox. There's one here, 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 and here. You, and you just want to pop. Up. Then I swear. They're just really hard to pop without. Why don't you use a flat screwdriver? Sorry, you get it. If you can just pull this up, Cody. Okay. Okay, we'll just do this. Pull. Pull back on your side. Okay, and we'll do this. Here, yeah. It's easy to use a flathead just to pry them. Yes. Okay. Okay, this part is the part that gets really noisy. <laughs> Wait. You have it like this. If, go get us a blanket. blanket. Yeah, hurry up. Run. If you take a blanket and you set it over top of the Xbox, and then push it together and it'll muffle the sound that way it's not loud. I have no clue if that'll work. I've never used it before. But first, you want to hold it like this. But you, and then you're just going to pull it back as far as you can. Now, wait. Tell me when. Go ahead. Did you hear that? And this part of your console should be off. Now you're down just to this part of the console. You can lift it up, and this part's actually attached until you get the console mainly apart. Well, you can right now. Hmm? Let's show them people how to fix them. Grandma's. Huh? No, it's not reading this game. Okay, you're just gonna. First, you want to really take out the silver screws. There should be six of the long ones. And then you and have... If you don't have six of them, there's a problem. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine little golden ones that you got to take apart with the torque pin. And there should be nine of those, and they're not very... your torch 8. And this video is just how to take them all apart and to fix them this really all you gotta do is uh, add me on uh, not Facebook but the Xbox is my gamer tag is Prometheus1279 and if you live in Mansfield, Ohio or just add me I know basically what to do. And I can fix Xbox. Oh, oh, and the little screws are only like a, not even a centimeter big. Probably about a half a centimeter. For and then you really, you really want to do is flip your Xbox over on this. But first, 
your disc tray thing, opener button, you just pull that out and just pull, and it just comes right off. And then, then you're down to blood and you got your Xbox. Then, for your... Oh, this is what the inside of the bottom panel looks like. It's just... It's and then, you take your little drive thing out, your CD-ROM. There's two little cables, and you pull both of them out. Okay, and um, as on the front, as you know of your Xbox, you show this video. Mm, that one. No, 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 no. And okay. there's your CD-ROM. Okay, as you can tell, this wait, is... Wait, wait, you gotta take the plastics out and the fan. The plastic is pretty much just a pop-up thing. And you just pop it back and then pop it forward. And just bend that back. Then for your fan, you just there's a little hook up right here. You just you just want to really like take just bend your thing right like this and like push forward. I just gotta do it like this because it's easier. There we go. And there's your fan. Okay. Next part. Is removing the actual motherboard. Yeah. No, you gotta take it front or something. Okay. This is the front of the Xbox you see when you turn it on. It's got a green light. This right. is your torque eight. Is what pop you guys need. Just pop oh. this off. That's just, that's just pop that off. This is just the front of your that's Xbox. The this is where the lights thing. pop up. Um, some Jays, well, some monitors actually, they replace these uh, plastics with kind of like a uh, clear. The color they want it, they just oh. take a clear oh, yeah. color of it. And now we'll be taking the front of the Xbox apart <laughs> off, and there's this little chip up here. You gotta take the two, three screws out with the torque eight. And these little three screws, and then you just really just try to put this fan up a little bit. Yes. There's this little, it connects, it's got like a little chip at Connects to your actual, uh, what's it called? Your motherboard. And then, let me see if there's anything else. And then you just really just pull the whole thing out of the thing, but you can flip it sideways and that gives us kind of a problem sometimes. And it tips the way. And there's another one to your Xbox. Portal 2. Put an Xbox, take an Xbox port and put it back together. So next, you just want to put your motherboard back in. Right. Like, well, make sure you, you guys got to be really, really careful to even this motherboard out. If not, it will not work properly and your little tabs bend and they snap straight into a place. Like that. But then, you want to take your chip thing that you have on the front, like so, and there's a little plug-in right here. And you plug your chip in, make it as soon as I can, and follow us on Facebook. <laughs> and you take three of your eight torque little black screws, and you put your screws back in, right up here up top. Let me see that. Is that the eight torque? Put the eight torque back in, please. Mm -hmm. You want to put your four screws that you had in the front and back up in there. Like so. We have had a long day today. We have been practicing for our videos. Mm -hmm. I have all the right files. Yes, we do. I have a better GPD now for my zombie pads. Oh. But I don't have Next, a USB. You want to put your fans back in. Fan. This is interesting on how to do this. Because you gotta put your fan thing in before you put anything else in. And then when we're done, we'll do a live interview to see how well it actually works. I have Modern Warfare 2. This Xbox has problems reading it. You have to do the thing where you have to open and close the dish tray about a million times. It might still do that until it kicks in and it starts working right. Like I said, we just cleaned off the aisle and we cleaned a bunch of junk out of it.
That's probably what that rattling inside of it was. You heard was like, a metal piece or anything. Really. This thing is really just a pain in the butt, dude. It pops in like slow. That's the second time I've saved our stuff from all the way. Okay. Now your friends in. Now you want to put your this, put this plastic. Back on. You want to put your plastic piece back on first, like this. And that just pretty much pops in there. Yeah. Then your front piece is this little. No, this is the top like this because it's got the arrows pointing up. And there's little tiny holes that it clips into. And you just got to work your way around it and snap it back into place. Yeah, but you can also, if you want to do these, there's special colored film you can get to put replace them. That's how you get, you see like blue, red, or you can up. just go real cheesy and color them. The black cord goes back to the black thing on the motherboard, and then you want to put your white cord back into the white cord. They only go in one way, they won't go in the other way, so you're pretty much right all the, always. And then, you, once you have this tray back in, you would re put your eject button. Okay, then you slide this back, then Make sure you work it in there good. And then, where's the just try open a piece? In the head. No, you don't want to put that on yet. You oh, you don't put this. that on until I think the last, the little last is. Yeah, I do put this on first. Well, you really, this is the hard part. You got to find all the way around it. Make sure, see all these little tabs on this Xbox. There's little tabs around it. And they bend really easy. Because they're just little aluminum pieces. Not the most sturdy thing. And you want to get all those in there really good. That way they're all straight and they're all in there perfectly snug. Okay. Then, take this. And, you fix it. Then we'll flip it over and we'll do this first. Okay. Now you need the torque eight to put the black screws back. Put the Xbox down. Now, do wash grandma. Mm -hmm. Line it up perfect. There's little things that Wait, you line it up with. Wait that way. Now it's got like, and then you just want to like work it down to where it's like sort of slides down in there, like that. And then you just want to push <laughs> in on it. Like whatever. That's going to be a bad problem with this earlier. Raise the front up. Uh, the front snap. Yeah, there it went. Yeah. 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 Yeah.